And a very exciting time here at CBS is we enjoyed exclusive access to the biggest Triceratops find ever. Tonight, photojournalist Mark Nitro and reporter Stan Bush take us to Thornton. History was unearthed thanks to a construction worker who paid attention in class. Dinosaur hunters say the Triceratops found in Thornton is a once-in-a-lifetime discovery, but it almost didn't happen at all. Thankfully, though, a construction worker remembered some classes from high school. Dan Wagner was inspecting new concrete when something the size of a quarter caught his eye. I was just looking at chunks of this bedrock, and I happened to look down, and I saw something that was way different than what I had been looking at, and it just happened to be under my feet. There was a bone fragment. It was dark brown, really porous. Wagner brushed the ground with his boot, wanting to make sure what he found was what he thought it was. So I grabbed a shovel and I started digging around and I heard the clink, clink of what ended up being the shoulder blade bone. And I dusted that aside and I, it was four inches wide, four and a half inches wide or whatever. And that's when I stopped and called the, the Saunders superintendent. The hum of construction came to a halt as Saunders employees poured over what Wagner had found. Right away, the initial reaction that they had was, wow, look at that, that, that really could be a dinosaur. Crews were building Thornton's new police and fire station and called the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, who said the bones were to a triceratops. It's starting to look like most of a skull is taking shape in front of us. One bone became a handful, soon dozens, to the point where almost every hour paleontologists put a shovel in the ground, a new fossil popped out. We're missing all of the limbs, so the forelimbs and the hind legs, and they're probably around here somewhere. Construction crews could have easily bulldozed all of this. Instead, they jumped in. While work continued elsewhere on the site, many, including Wagner, helped to pull history out of the ground. And that's one of those magical moments that only happens every decade or so. Scientists believe the Triceratops is 66 million years old, one of the last dinosaurs to walk the Earth. And the find in Thornton, one of the most complete discoveries ever from that period. In the museum business, when you're building something and you stop, when you find a dinosaur, you're heroes in our minds. They invited me to come and, and, uh, and see all this, but they didn't tell me there's going to be this many people. The museum says when the Triceratops is finished, the crew that found it, including Wagner, will have their name next to it forever, uncovering history and becoming part of it as well. I get the sense that this is not sunk in yet. No, not, not sunk in. Maybe when, when it gets all set up and the skeleton is all in the display case and all that and uh, look at it as a whole, maybe then. Those bones are being added to the permanent collection here at the museum and may someday be put on display so that people can see what was found just a few miles from here. At the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, I'm Stan Bush covering Colorado First. Stan, thanks. So once they find the bones, how do they get them out of the ground? Uh, very carefully. Yeah, we're here all week. <laughs> Tomorrow night at 10, we'll show you more behind-the-scenes video of the dig that is truly saving history. Yeah, it's so great it to is. see it. Well,